All right, let's make some internet videos. Um, if it loads. Fuck it, I'm playing Half-Life. Half-Life is uh is pretty great and probably the best thing about it is that it was made in uh, 1641, yeah, so it pretty much takes no time to load. There are a couple of bugs in it, I think, but I mean it's hard to know what is and isn't intentional. I mean, I can't really believe, you know, in good faith that Valve didn't know just how easy bunny hopping was going to be. So uh, I think it's a gameplay feature. But that's not really what I'm here to show you because uh, I want to talk about Valve's game design philosophy. Because whenever they make games, they like to make everything optional so that people who've played the game before can still get, you know, a lot on a replay. And they don't have to wait through, like, sections that would normally be, you know, binding for the player. And they'd have to play through them. There's a good example of that coming up here. Uh, this is like a cutscene area where we have to wait for all these uh, scientists to finish talking. But if I push this scientist just by his feet towards this door here, when he reaches it, he's going to open it because the door's on a trigger. So uh, Valve was really kind there, I think, because, I mean, I've heard that speech before, you know, lots of times. I don't, I don't really want to listen to it again, so uh, I can just skip it. But what I really want to show you is uh, in this room here. Uh, while these guys do this uh, spiel, I'm just going to mess with them a little bit. Yes, but with good reason. Bill is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. I am most certainly not. the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, it will. Go ahead. Here, look. They're like little toddlers with favorite scanners. They'll always walk towards these scanners, even when they're standing next to the other ones. I don't know why. It'll never not make me laugh. <laughs> uh, in a minute, they're going to do some speech or something and then they'll let me press that button but while they do it i can actually get up on top of this lamp and then uh from on here i can jump across onto a little i can jump across onto a little invisible platform here uh there's not much i can do up here but uh <laughs> there's just a little bit of clipping they fucked up so uh <laughs> always cheers me up and now i can press the button and uh the real fun begins there's not much to do uh, while the rotors speed up uh, before the, I don't even know, trolley cart comes out from uh, from the floor. Uh, so I just like to jump around in circles. If you line it up right, you can actually jump on top of the uh, trolley cart here. Um, it's not clipped properly, so you're just going to stand in the middle. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Half-Life's great. <laughs> And here we go, the glorified Asda shopping cart. There we go, into the corner, jam it over here. Uh, I've got something interesting to show you. Uh, if I stand just uh, just here in the corner like this, and I look up at the uh, corner of the shopping cart just here, um, I can use that lineup to uh, to skip past the rest of the chamber. Uh, and just head into this room. I mean, I think it was really, really kind of Valve to set it up like that so that people who'd played the game before, you know, they don't have to wait through sequences like that a second time because, I mean, I definitely think that they can get boring. And you might be worrying. Oh, but you're like, you're one health. You, you're going to die to everything. I mean, you're, oh, you're so unsafe. But, I mean, uh, there's not really uh, that much to worry about. I mean, all I really have to do is just uh, head past these enemies here and uh, I pretty quickly am, you know gonna reach some more health uh yeah just through here uh there's another health pack and uh yeah i'm all better stop gargling i have a headache this bug is uh, useful a couple more times as well if i come down here and uh, skip past the main section of the puzzle like this uh, it gets you know pretty useful in this section here because uh we're basically presented with two options. I mean, I could go down here, you know, go round and solve the puzzle. Or I could, you know, jump across it. And I, it just feels a bit easier to me to do it that way. I don't know, maybe it's a, like, personal preference thing. But I've always felt like, you know, it's just a bit of a waste of time to do it the other way. When, you know, the option of jumping across is, you know, just sitting right there. It truly is just the best way to make games. I mean, so considerate. All right, here's the plan. I need another 3,000 hours of watch time so that I can uh, get monetized and buy sweets. So, all of you watch this video on repeat all night, every night for the rest of your lives. And then I'll spend all that money on Haribo.